What is up everybody? Welcome back to Let's Play Fury Driver Moonwalks. If you watched part one, you will remember that we picked up a politician that turned out to be an undercover agent and uh, we were given a mission. So, now we're gonna get back into the game. Uh, sorry about the technical difficulties last night. My keyboard did end up dying. I recharged the batteries. So hopefully... Welcome to Fury Driver, Moonwalks. Press the space bar to continue a previous game. Press control to start a new game. Press the escape key to exit the current game. Swipe up or down to increase or decrease the background music's volume. Press C key to listen to the credits. And I don't think I mentioned this in part one, but page up and page down, adjust the music volume. One thing I wish this game did, I was remember what you set the music to. So let's continue. You have reached Club District. Save point to Blues Club, Diverse Street, number 25. So we'll go back here. You have reached to the club district, to First Street, number 31, to First Street, number 19. If you remember at the end of the last part, we talked to a trusted drug dealer who uh, wants us to go meet him down by the harbor area. An intersection that leads to the city square, the downtown center, or just the continuation of the main street. You have reached First Street, number 19, pharmacy. The pharmacy clerk says he has only one of the medicines that Virgil needs to bring to his father. The other one is probably available in another pharmacy in the city. Virgil still buys the one that's here and puts it in his pocket. All right. To First Street, number 25. To downtown Cent. To main fancy looking to main pharmacy. Fancy looking. An extravagant apartment, which looks to have been built by a famous designer, recognizable by the many sharp angles that this house features. The house makes a stark contrast with the skyscrapers and normal looking buildings nearby. Okay. Pharmacy. To First Street, number 25. To downtown center. To Main Square. Here. The main square of the city has general stores and skyscrapers surrounding it. As for the square itself, it's just a barren, flat, and gray concrete surface with no patterns. There's no place for monuments or statues in Moon City because it's a relatively modern city but also because it wouldn't fit with the corruption of the place. You have reached Main Square. Man reading a newspaper. He's reading today's newspaper while sitting on a bench facing the Main Square. He's wearing a black suit that makes him look like a businessman. To First Street, number 19. To Second Avenue, number 6. Man reading a newspaper. To First, to Second Avenue. We'll go here. The construction work has been completed. And now the street is traversable. This is where he is. You have reached 2nd Avenue, number 6, downtown center, Main Square, to 2nd Avenue, Dollar Store, downtown center, Main, to 2nd Avenue, Dollar, a dollar store facing Somewhere the street. It sells all kinds of things. A lot of people uh, are inside at the moment. Downtown center, Main Square, to 2nd Avenue, number 13. You have reached 2nd Avenue. Save point to second up to ghetto to second avenue number 20 teenagers save point T to second up you have reached S street lamp to second to second avenue number 27 to s the, s I think he's somewhere up here. the concrete of the street begins deteriorating from here a sign of a not too well curated part of the city Whoa. you have reached truck driver there. He's a plump man wearing a red shirt and blue overalls. He's eating a sandwich while looking at his truck, which is parked at the side of the road. <laughs> he must be on break. Trusted drug dealer. There he is. This is the drug dealer that Virgil knows real well. He has good prices and sells the weed that can alleviate Virgil's father's pain. Virgil bought the stuff from him many times and they've established a friendly relationship. <laughs> he hands him the drug and tells Virgil that he can pay him later if he doesn't have the necessary money on him, because he's proven to be a trustworthy customer. The two hear police sirens blaring in the distance, and the pusher gets very worried. 
He appears to be high from the look of his pupils and tells he Virgil that they need dealer. to leave immediately and that he has a rigged car made specially to run from the Popo. He gives Virgil permission to ride it and the two of them set off, chased by the police. Get ready. Start in three, two, one. Obstacle on the left. Right. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Left. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Left. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Left turn incoming. Track completed at 50%. Turn completed. Left. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Right. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Right. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Center. Okay. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Left. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Right. The escape is over. Virgil successfully escaped. Virgil and the drug dealer, sweaty and out of breath due to the intensity of the chase, stop in front of the blues club preferred by Virgil's father. The drug dealer gets out of the car, tells Virgil to send his greetings to the old man, and leaves, cursing for the close escape. The curse is decreased in volume due to the distance, with the exception of a louder fuck, fuck, heard after a few seconds. Virgil smartens himself up, gets out of the car, and gets ready to see his father. You have reached Club District. Save point. You save to Blues Club. The Blues Club is dimly lit with a violet light. There's a bartender on the left behind his wooden stand, and the co-manager on the right. You have reached entrance. Bartender. He says that they're not open yet. If Virgil wants to drink something, he'll need to come by later. Co-manager. He looks tired, and he's looking at something on his phone. He must be on his break. Liquors and alcoholic beverages. This is the stuff that the bartender uses to make cocktails. You don't say. But some of those things can also be served by themselves. To main room. To Moon City. Bart. To, to main... There are several tables, and there's a stage, on which there's a piano, illuminated by a spotlight that Virgil's father is playing. There's no one else in the club yet. You He's have reached main room. Paintings. Some Art Deco paintings have been put on the wall. The owner of the place must like this art style. Dinner table. A fancy dinner table. It's adorned with a tablecloth and cutlery. Virgil's father. Virgil and his father chat a bit and catch up on what's happening today to both of them. Virgil doesn't have all the medicines and the weed for his father, so he promises to come back soon with all the things. But what's weird now is I, I think I do, so if I hit control to talk to him again... Maybe. He's playing a piano, but as soon as Virgil sees him, he asks him if he brought the medicine, and the medicine he needs for the day, because he's running out of it. Virgil gives it to him, and he looks so much more mellow now. He says his mood has improved, and he'll play something different on the piano. Okay. 
Virgil's father is playing a rather somber melody. To manager's office. Let's go here. A room with a black marble table with a bookcase behind it. The manager is sitting lazily on a black leather chair in front of Virgil. A black leather chair. You have chair. reached manager's office. Manager. All right. He tells Virgil that his name is Ross and asks him what he needs. Virgil tells him about his father, but he's not willing to listen. Clean table with cigars. Some expensive looking cigars are left half consumed on the table to sizzle. Virgil thinks the manager has to have a lot of money since he doesn't even care about finishing them. To main room. Manager. To main. You have reached main to blues club. Virgil heads towards the exit, but the co-manager suddenly calls him. It seems that this person has important matters to discuss with Virgil. You have rate bartender, co-manager. He's saying that this place isn't a rest home, and if Virgil wants to do something about it, he has to talk to the manager. But to do so, he says that Virgil needs an excuse, and that the boss likes two things, and one is booze. He suggests Virgil talk to the bartender about it. Liquors to main to Moon City bartender. He says that the boss likes the same brand that a local drugstore has. He tells Virgil it's nearby, in the middle of Moon City's downtown. All right. To Moon City. So we'll drive out of the building. You have reached clubbed at Diverse Street, number twenty-five. You have reached first to first street, number 19. It's the downtown center, I think we go this way. You have reached fancy looking to Main Square, to downtown. The absolute center of Moon City. Several skyscrapers and shops and intersections are set here. The blue windows of the skyscrapers create a nice contrast with the general grayness of the concrete of all the buildings here. You have reached down to drugstore, to First Street, number 7, to First Street, number 19, to Second Avenue, number 6, Moon City Bank. The city, the city's bank. Virgil had never heard the name of this bank before moving to Moon City, and there have been some rumors floating around that it's apparently owned by a gang, but Virgil has found no evidence to confirm this hypothesis so far. To drugstore, to First Street, to drug, let's go to the drugstore. A shoddy place with brown and red walls, Virgil can see the old owner on the right, and some liquor scattered around the room. Some inside showcases, some not. There's a closed door on the far right side of the room. You have reached drugstore entrance. Press, Callum, tap, two, move. And Peter on PG-13 say that this music sounds very Space Invader-ish. I mean, it's definitely different music for a drugstore. Wine collection and a display. Some wines are stored in a display, which is for show for the clients. None of these bottles catch Virgil's attention. Shop owner. Virgil banters with the owner for a while, and then tells him that he's looking for a particular wine. The owner acknowledges that Virgil isn't a shady person, and tells him he can go into the cellar to look for the wine, because he doesn't remember where it is but he's sure it's down there somewhere. I don't know what world this developer is living in where people go into a store and the workers are like, oh yeah, just go down and get it. To Moon City. Okay. To Cellar. It's rather dusty. There are several barrels on the other side of the room. You have reached Cellar Entrance. Wines of the Room. Well, these wines seem very recent and kind of cheap. What Virgil is looking for isn't among them. To left cellar, to right cellar, to drugs, wine, to, to right. There are no barrels here, but there's some bottles here and there. Virgil can see a broom and other cleaning tools lying on the wall. You have reached cellar, wines of the room. Oh, these bottles are actually empty if observed up close. Due to the poor lighting of the place, they seem full at a distance. They will probably be filled by the owner sooner or later. The wine Virgil is looking for must be somewhere else. Broom. It looks kind of old, and the straw bristles are ruined. It will need to be replaced soon. 
It won't clean much in this state. Two cellar entrance. Wines of the two. You have reached. Se to drug store. To right cell. To left. The barrels continue. Some of these seem to have been clean and some not. There are some bottles close to the barrels here. You have reached. Cellar. Wines of the Rome. These wines seem to come from other countries and have some exotic names. Virgil can't read some of them because he's not multilingual. And the wine he's looking for has its label written in English. It must be somewhere else. To the end of the cellar. To the cellar's entrance. Cabinet. Wines of the cabinet. Another one of those weirdly read things. Cabinet. So, let's look at the cabinet. A small cabinet filled with empty bottles. They're odorless and look clean. They must have been washed. A small cabinet. Wines of the room. Okay, I'm done. To the cellar's entrance. To the end of the... The room ends here. Virgil can see some bottles stored in a showcase, which seems to have been cleaned recently. You have reached. End of the... Wines of the room. In the showcase are stored several bottles of the same brand, which actually is the one Virgil is looking for. He thinks that Ross must be a trusted customer of the place, so much so that an entire part of the cellar is allocated to the wine he likes so much. Virgil takes a bottle with him. Wardrobe. Wardrobe is empty. It's a, probably a leftover from the business that came before the drugstore, or the owner intended its use for storage purposes. To the left cellar. Wardrobe. To the left... You have reached cellar cabinet to the cellar's entrance. You have reached cellar to drugstore entrance. Now, you have reached to cellar to Moon City. Shop to Moon City. We'll go to Moon City. You have reached downtown I mean, I'm gonna center. Pay for it. <laughs> To drugstore, to First Street, number 7, to First Street, number 19. You have reached First Pharmacy, to First Street, number 25. You have reached to the to First Street, number to the club. You have reached Save Point, to Blues, to First Street, to Blue. You have reached entrance to Moon City to Main Room. You have reached Main Room. Paintings to Blues Club entrance to Manager. You have reached Manager. Since Virgil has the wine brand Ross likes so much, he gives it to him. And now, Ross starts to listen. He tells Virgil that the second thing he likes are bets, and very much so. Virgil takes this as an opportunity and tells him about the moonwalks and how he'd like to be a part of them. Ross seems interested in what Virgil is saying and says that he'd like to bet on him and as long as he keeps winning, he'll allow his father to stay. This is the breakthrough Virgil has been looking for. This and the fact that keeping a recreational place for his father is a good thing for his mental health. This gets Virgil very motivated to see this through. The manager tells Virgil that he's giving him a car for the races, but the first thing he has to do is to make it invisible to the eyes of the law. Ross has talked to the city mechanic. They establish that he can do that, but only if Virgil gets him three car parts that have been stolen from him in the city. Lastly, he reminds Virgil to keep winning if he wants to keep his father here. He smirks as he says so, and Virgil hides his frustration. So, we'll talk to him again. And you're going to see another example of how they didn't edit this very well. Ross tells Virgil that the three car parts for the downtown mechanic can be found in the west part of the city, before the suburbs. Okay, the... <laughs> Clean table, to main room. The three car parts. You have reached main room to Blues Club entrance. Can be found near the suburbs. You have reached to Moon City. You have reached Club to Save Point to Blues Club. Si you say to Blue to First Street, number 25. 
You have rate to the club to First Street, number 31. You have reached to First to First Street Elementary to First Street, number 34. You have reached First Trusted Drug Deal to First Street, number 31 to Second Street, number 41. Road to the Eastern Trusted Drug to Second. Another entrance to the ghetto. No. The asphalt is in a general state of disrepair. You have re obstructed road to First Street, number 34. To ghetto, obstructed road. There appears to be some construction work going on here. A massive crack in the street is being repaired right now. It's impossible to go forward in this direction, at least for a few days, if not weeks. To First Street, number 34. You have road to Second Street to First Street, number 31. So. You have rate elementary to First Street, number 25. I have to backtrack all this way. You have reached to First to First Street, number 31, to First. Go here. You have reached Pharmacy to First Street, number 25, to Downtown Center. You have reached to drugs to first street to first street to second ave. Oh, second ave. You have reached downtown center main square to second avenue. You have reached safe to second avenue. You safe to second avenue number six to ghetto to second avenue number twenty teenagers. To You have reached Second Street to Sec to Sec to Fifth Street Lamp to Second Avenue, number thirteen. To Second Avenue, number twenty-seven. You have reached Truck Driver to Second to Second Avenue, number twenty. Truck Driver to Second Avenue. The this avenue ends here, and from here, there's a single small street perpendicular to the other street, which leads to some buildings to the west and the harbor to the east. You have reached Save Point. You sit to Second Avenue, number 27, to 11th Street, to 11th Fishmonger. The fishmonger has set up a stand using his minivan, in which he sells fish he caught at the sea early in the morning, probably using a boat. The smell of the freshly caught preys is so intense, it's almost nauseating. I don't know how else Save Point. Go out to, catch fish. to 11th to 11th Street. Number one. No, I need to some to decadent apartments are in this road, along with some grocery stores and other businesses, which seem slightly shadier. Where the suburbs? You have reached 11th garage. Some young workers are bringing a lot of machinery related to the maintenance of cars inside a garage. Virgil thinks it's highly likely that someone is trying to open a car garage here, which would compete with the one near downtown. To nightclub. To Second Avenue, number thirty garage. Tonight, to Second. You say point to sec to a to a fishmonger. To a Some trucks are parked at the side of the road, probably waiting for something to come out of the harbor or get into the harbor. You have reached eleven containers. Several containers are amassed near the entrance of the harbor. They're too tall, and the way they're placed makes it impossible to get behind them. To Harbor Entrance, to Second Avenue, number 34. I need to remember where the suburbs are. You have reached Second to Eleventh to to Second Avenue. You have reached to Second to Second Avenue, number 34. To Second Avenue, number 20. You have reached to 5th Street, to 2nd Avenue, number 27, to 2nd... You have reached Teenagers, to 2nd Avenue, number 20, to Ghetto, to 2nd Avenue, number 6, Save Point, to 2nd... Downtown Main... to 2nd Dollar, Downtown Main Square, Downtown... 
You have rate to drop to first to first street, number 19, to first. This is where the best car workshop and mechanic in town reside. Virgil has heard that the man doesn't ask questions regarding the legality of the repairs or modification he's asked to do on the cars, and the police seem to turn a blind eye to his proceedings. Virgil thinks that this is the best possible place to come if he ever needs to repair or upgrade his car. You have reached mechanic. Save point to race circuit to first street, number one, to downtown to first. This is the beginning of the main street of the city. The suburbs and outer parts of town can be reached by going northeast and northwest respectively. You okay. have reached First Street to 7th Avenue to First Street, number 7, high school to 7th Avenue, high school. This is where most of the children that graduate middle school go next. There's no college in Moon City, so people have to move to continue their education. And if they can't, they'll have to work here, which can also lead to joining gangs if one is desperate enough, unfortunately. To 7th Avenue. So. A road leading outside the city. That's Some apartment complexes can be seen on both sides of the road. You, get there. you have rate to 7th Avenue, number 6 to 1st Street. Team. A young teenager is looking at his smartphone and is texting someone. There's nothing out of the ordinary about him. Okay, that's what the teen is doing. Dealer. An arms dealer who nonchalantly sits upon a set of car tires. He says that a dude who wishes to remain anonymous recently sold them to him for a very low price. He says he can give them to Virgil if he brings him some high-quality drugs. To 7th Avenue, number 16, to 1st Street, number 1. Okay, so this is where this game gets... I don't want to say bad, because it's really not a bad game. But definitely very time-consuming. Because the guy needs weed. So, the drug dealer is on 31. You have reached 7th Ave to 1st Street, number 7. So you have to go back to 1st Street. You have a mechanic, save point, to race to 1st Street, to downtown. You go to the downtown center here, or the main square, one of the two. You have reached to drop to 1st Street, to 1st Street, number 19. You have rate pharma to first street number twenty. You have rate to the to first street number thirty one. Either here or the next street up. You have rate to first to first element to first to first street number twenty five. To I think he's here. You have rate trusted drug dealer. The old friend of Virgil has moved here. He explains to him that an arms dealer he met doesn't want money, but drugs in exchange for the car part, and asks him if he had any spare weed for this transaction. He does, and says that if Virgil pays him for this stuff and the other stuff he gave him for Virgil's dad, he'd give him a superior quality batch instead. Virgil, having just enough money on him and deeming a superior quality product more likely to be accepted for the transaction, accepts the offer and gets the high quality weed. Road to the Eastern to Second Street, number forty to First Street, number thirty-one. Now you have to go all the way back here. You have rate elementary to First Street, number twenty-five. You have rate to First to First Street, number thirty-one. To you have rate pharmacy to First Street, number twenty to downtown. You have to drugs to First Street, number seven. You have mechanic, save point, to racer, to First Street, number one. You have high school, to First Street, number to Seventh Avenue, to First, to Seventh. You go to Seventh. You have reached deal team, dealer. And then we talk to this dude. Virgil has exchanged the drugs for the engine piece. The guy looks very pleased with the trade. To seventeen. To seventh. 
an intersection near the end of the town from which the outskirts or the suburbs can be reached. From this point, the more one goes towards the desert outside town, the less houses are seen. You have reached 7th Pawn Shop Entrance, road to the to outskirts to 7th Avenue. Elderly woman. An elderly woman is looking at the pawn shop window. Virgil thinks she's just window shopping to pass the time. Pawn shop at ro pawn a pawn shop located in this part of town, farther from the eyes of the law, and so more likely to have some illegal contraband within. The owner is very hostile towards Virgil and threatens him with a gun since he realizes Virgil is a policeman. Virgil, not wanting to resort to force, leaves. He'll have to find another way in. Road to the suburbs, to outskirts. The outskirts begin here, just at the right of the pawn shop. And they're rather small. Some nightclubs and hotels can be found nearby. You have reached a young adult. A young man wearing a tank top is leaning against a car, reading the latest issue of a sports magazine. He's very into it. He doesn't seem to be paying attention to his surroundings. To out of town road, to hotel nightclub, to 7th Avenue. Young adult, to out of town. The other side of the pawn shop can be seen from here. It appears to have a back entrance. The houses farthest from the city downtown are located in this area. You have reached out of town pawn shop back entrance. This is the back of the illegal pawn shop on this side of town. It seems unlocked, and it likely has some weapons inside. Virgil decides to sneak in, and fortunately can see the stolen car part near the door. It's not his in the first place, right? So taking it shouldn't pose a problem, or be a basis upon which one would file a complaint, <laughs> Virgil thinks, as he grabs it and leaves. To facilities. Right. To outskirts. To house back to outskirts. To house... An unkept backyard. Virgil can see the shutter to a garage door that has been left open. There's no one in at the moment, so it's better if Virgil takes what he needs as soon as possible and leaves. You have reached backyard. Shrubbery. A shrubbery. It's not been attended to in a while. The Lone Shark Garage. A gray garage. There are some rectangular columns left and right which support the structure, and there are roughly three piles of items scattered on the floor. You have re dusty furniture. Furniture. All the drawers are empty. Car parts. Some car parts. Among them, Virgil finds something that can still be used for the races, and takes it with him. To backyard. Dusty furniture. You have reached to Moon City. Okay. You have reached to outskirts. Now we have to go back here. You have reached to 7th Avenue, number 16. You have reached elderly womb to 7th Avenue, number 8. First. You have reached team to first street. street. No. To first street seven. You have reached the seventh half to first street number seven. You have reached mechanic save point mechanic. The mechanic applies all the upgrades and repairs that Virgil requests. The car is now ready to go. Thanks, bud. The man begins his work and clears the car from any register. But now Virgil has to recover the pieces for the car modifications. The moonwalks aren't a joke. The first he needs to get is nitro, then an engine modification. To do this, the mechanic asks for money that Virgil doesn't have. The guy strikes a deal with Virgil. If he delivers a very rare car from one side of the city to the other, the modifications will be done for free. Virgil accepts and gets in the car. But after just a few minutes, a bunch of dudes on motorcycles start getting closer and try to surround the vehicle. They pull out guns. Virgil pushes the accelerator and has to shake them off. Get ready. Start in. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Obstacle in the center. Obstacle on the right. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Right. Left. 
Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Center. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Center! Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Left track completed at 50%. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Left turn incoming. I like the ambience in this game. Some of it could be turn turned completed. Down a bit because it clips. Left. Otherwise. Center. Right okay. turn incoming. Turn completed. Center. Center. Whoa. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Left. Right turn incoming. Turn completed. Left. Center. Left turn incoming. Turn completed. Right. The escape is over. Virgil successfully escaped. Virgil escapes the bikers, drives the car to the destination, and returns to the mechanic. The mechanic installs the nitro and the engine modification in Virgil's car, and tells Virgil that it's possible to race now that the preparations are mostly complete. He asks Virgil to go to the racetrack and talk to the organizer. You have reached First Street, number seven. Mechanic, save point. You save the game. And we will do that in part three. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever it is you do. And I will see you in part three, where we will be off to the races.